racing drivers often call the Spa Francorchamps the roller coaster in the Ardennes. Before hosting the Belgian Grand Prix later this month, the track tested drivers' endurance at the annual total 24 hours of Spa race. It was a special occasion for BMW, the final competition for the Z4 GT3, plus the 50-year anniversary Pascal X and Gerard Langlois victory. BMW's first win here. BMW started with a quite new family of cars and we had very much pleasure in racing the 700 BMW. That was the reason, the first love, the first reason to love BMW. BMW has racked up a total of 21 victories on this highly demanding track. This time though, weather conditions were anything but helpful. BMW driver Lucas Lure says Spa is one of the last old school tracks. It separates the men from the boys. The Royal Motorsport team faced a rather particular challenge. Joining DTM winner Bruno Spengler and former Formula One driver Timo Glock was Alessandro Sanari, who lost both legs in a crash in 2001. Of course, it's uh, quite difficult to put all the three together, especially because uh, for, the, for Alex. But I think uh, together with BMW, we managed very well. And uh, till now, I think everybody has done a good job. There's nothing more we could do to show up better prepared. And uh, I'm very, very pleased and excited and proud to be part of, uh, of this team. We have fantastic engineers and mechanics. It's a pleasure to be together with Alex and Timo. Alex has taught me a lot about racing, which is why it's so much fun here. We want to find our pace right at the start, and we'll see how we fare at night and through the whole 24 hours. The driver changes added extra excitement, not least when Alessandro Sanari made way for Bruno Spengler. During the pit stops, the crew had to adapt the car to the different requirements of drivers with and without legs. BMW created special components for accelerating, braking, and shifting with modifications to the pedals and clutch. Plus, each of the three drivers had steering wheels adapted to their needs. The engineers also optimized the seat position and installed air conditioning. Uh, conditions are very tricky, very difficult because uh, you got a dying line, but uh, if you go out uh, from that ideal line, then uh, it's literally night and day. Sometimes Alessandro drives a little on the wild side. Yeah, a little too, too fast, but uh, what can I do? It's behind me now. I'm young, I need to learn. The three-man team at the wheel were doing pretty well as they reeled off one seven-kilometer lap after the next. 24 hours is the toughest discipline in motorsports for man, machine, and the whole crew. If you look at the team, you can see the toll 24 hours of action can take on the cars, too. But then, in the final hour, Sonardi and his co-drivers had to drop out due to a technical defect. Among the Mark VDS racing team, the mood was more upbeat. Marcus Paltala, Lucas Lohr, and Nick Katzburg were pushing at the head of the pack in their BMW Z4 GT3. And they went on to take the checkered flag, finishing ahead of the two Audi teams, WRT and Phoenix Racing. It was the Z4 GT3's first win at the Endurance Classic. And it's swan song. Next season, BMW will be competing with the M6 GT3.